Well, joining me now in our Lagos studio is finance analyst Somi Akindikbe. Good to have you on The Breakfast Show yeah, today. Compliments of the season. Same to you. Now, we are recording another month of contraction. This is me making what we have going on in the entire uh, economy as we speak at this point in time. But now is the time to start preparing to put our best foot forward. Correct. In terms of investment, infrastructure to support manufacturing. If not, we're not going to have a competitive edge come 2021. Correct. Um, looking at it holistically, I think the government needs to quickly go to the drawing board with the manufacturers, see how they could help with um, getting their raw materials is the key thing. Um, if they need to give them some relief on um, import duties on their raw materials, they should do that. If they need to find some level of security for them for locally sourced material, which might be in areas that are um, covered already with militants and stuff, they need to do that. Because if we fail to do that, already we have an ongoing effect of recession, plus the fact that come January, we are going to have other manufacturing companies from other African countries coming into Nigeria. Nigeria has the biggest population out of all the other African countries that we've signed. In terms agreement. of looking at activities with regards to the African continent. Exactly. Trade so they will just come in, seeing that our own manufacturing companies are weak already, they just take over. And that can, you can go back and say, I'm not signing the agreement again. Hmm. You made mention of the fact that we have to also look into sourcing for raw materials exactly. to support That's the, the core thing local manufacturing. manufacturers yeah. because the pricing of all of these items to have also skyrocketed. At this point in time where we are seeing, uh, like you mentioned, the AFC FTA coming much more into bear being the yeah. new reality and we have to have a competitive exactly. edge. What do you think we would have in terms of the pricing now that the borders are open? Um, I think the pricing already reflecting is becoming a little bit more, um, um, will I say more competitive? It's not as high as before because if the borders are still short, I'm sure that prices will have gone so much higher at this season because uh, buying season, there is more demand, and because of the demand, it can put pressure on price. Mm. But because the border has been opened, in a way, you know, uh, the price remains competitive. Generally, when you run the economy of a nation, there are many things to put into consideration. A perfect um, environment may not be attained. So if we say, okay, we shut the border totally so that we can affect, achieve a perfect, it may not really come. But if we can do something like, um, you know, 80%, we can put things together and then be able to achieve a lead to... Then Standardization we can, is exactly. key. Automation of processes is exactly. key to be able to at least check what we have coming into the country exactly. and then send it back what does not meet the requirement of the time. Now... At this point, once again, we are also looking at creation of hubs to support manufacturers, okay. local manufacturers. This is quite critical. Very important. Globally, every single sector is looking at cost-cutting measures mm. at this point in time, sharing of resources, exactly. strategically locating uh, processing and manufacturing uh, plants and activities exactly. and long in clusters, not working exactly. as silos. Now, how much of an intervention do you further expect from um, government? Just like I said the other areas? day, I believe that the government can acquire some of these machines, put them in strategic location in the hubs. But not at this point in time where we're still largely borrowing. Yeah, I said that if the government feels that I can't do this, bring in private investors. There are people that are ready to do that. Put an enabling environment in place, put policies in place, let these guys come in, the machines are on ground, these small hub manufacturers are on ground, and then the raw materials are on ground, then we are good to go. Mm -hmm. 774 local governments that we have in Nigeria, the least of them have three resources, the least. I did the personal research, and mm. I discovered that we don't have problem in terms of the raw materials. 
What we need to address is how do we get the raw material out, looking at insecurity, and there are private investors willing to drop the money or get the machine, and there are places we can use for the manufacturing hub. Mm. What the government needs to do is just put pen to paper. And in a case where government say, okay, I want to take part in this, they are free. Okay, so I mean, we look at uh, a little bit of improvement in terms of supplier delivery time. That means that okay. we are getting materials to the vantage points a little better, better now, but that's not still the best approach. So many have said, well, we have to look at intermodal means of transportation mm -hmm. in terms of transportation of these raw materials and then the exchange we have of exactly. a finished product. But going back now to the finished item, okay. improving on the quality on the standards that we have, then that would help to present a better picture of accepting made in Nigeria goods. State by state level now, adopting this model and looking at the areas of competitive advantages, the governors seem not to understand clearly what has to be brought to the fore in terms of the product profiling that they ought to take, the support mechanism they ought to uh, Put identify in in their states, not expecting all of the support um, federally? Generally, what, what I see is that um, there's a lot of um, gaps when it comes to understanding how the economy run and governance. Quite a number of people in government needs to be taken aside mm. and schooled about manufacturing sector and how core and important it is. Because if you don't understand some things, you will not understand the necessity and the urgency of that to sustain it. So it's important for us to say, look, okay, look at it. Somebody is coming from a background that all he just wants to do is to win election. He doesn't know about the economy. He has advisors. But it's not enough for us to have a country run you need to understand the economy to a level. And I believe the federal government can do this um, to an extent. Let them see this. Let them have meeting with this guy. If, there, if we don't have this stuff, I mean, there will be nothing. There will be no tax. There will be so nothing. So what do you say we've had a failure in terms of the one state, one product agenda? We, we don't have a problem per se, but I think the federal government can come up with something like a target. Okay, so let's have a target. Every state, this is what we expect from you every month. Once you can meet up, we shift what you're supposed to produce to another state or we give a private manufacturing company that target. Mm. So that after a while, when we see that you can't produce anything, we stop giving you national location and we scrap your state. On if you put people under pressure like that, they will... They will seek for knowledge. They will do all their best to make sure they are not lagging behind. Mm. All the excuses will disappear. Okay. Now, understanding working models and then interpreting them is a totally different ball game. But at this point in time, what do you think is the forecast we would likely see for the first quarter of next year in terms of manufacturing and then the index indices, how they're going to play out, especially as we're dealing now with the second wave of the COVID-19. There are some restrictions put in place. We don't know what the future would hold. Well, the truth is that if nothing is done to support the manufacturing company, some of the stuff we've seen in the past might likely come up. Some of these manufacturing companies might start relocating to other African countries. And that also just there. die natural Since they have the market already, they can come in. And that's going to affect us. There's going to be increase in unemployment. Our employment has gone out. So we need, the government needs to look at this. It's important. Mm. It's important. OK. Thank you very much for your time yeah. on The Breakfast Show today so far. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Somi. Thank you. Yeah.